If I can dream it, I can see it. And if I can see it, I can make it happen. Tony's dreams shape the man he is today. His present world resonates with echoes of the past. The thing you remember most is the rattling of the windows. As the um, commuter trains traveled back and forth. I recall the days where having three square meals was a major accomplishment. And understanding what it meant to get a dispossessed notice always coming in right under the deadline <laughs> before they're about to kick you out on the street. But again, we still had a strong sense of ourselves. It was a real community. We used to swim in the East River, so we had our own pool. <laughs> My mother was a domestic worker. Her employers would give her clothes. And for us, they were brand new clothes. My parents would always share. They would give away <laughs> these clothes that someone gave to us. And I mean, as, as a young kid, um, I didn't appreciate that. As I got older, I learned to respect that. Tony's mother suffered from chronic asthma and was allergic to penicillin. We were on um, public assistance. And one day, the physician, as I understand it, just showed up, gave her an injection of penicillin. So to wake up one morning, leave for school, and a couple of hours later have someone come to take you home, only to discover that, that your mother's dead. There had to have been a better way to, to deliver health care. Tony's teachers helped him endure his mother's death by nurturing his imagination. And used to talk to me, introduce yes, books. Yes, yes. That allowed me to make the transition of that loss. It allowed me to find the dreamer in me. Since then, Tony has approached his life with fervor as if it were a mission. Holding various jobs through college, he took on a double major in economics and political science. To everyone's amazement, he graduated in two and a half years and went on to law school. There are no guarantees. What I do, I got to do it today because there's no guarantee about tomorrow. Success means to him having enough to see someone else um, do what they want to do. And the award allows for that message to go out. It's a tribute to a lot of people I may never be able to say thank you to. I'm giving back in the way they gave to me.